Hi everyone, welcome back. So if you are a researcher or a student tackling the challenges of academic writing, this video is for you. Today, I'm going to walk you through five essential AI powered prompts that can simplify and supercharge your research writing process. Let's dive in. I'll be giving you most important prompts which you should use. Okay. So before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe here. And this in this channel, you can find a playlist which is exclusive for the researchers and the students. So if you just scroll down, you can find two important playlists. One is like uh, all about research. Okay. And second one is a skill up. Okay. This two will help you uh, to find a lot of answers for the questions it's related to research and also for like a lot of internship opportunities job opportunities and the free courses for the students as well as everyone and if you have any doubts related to your research or any certificate if you are a student if you wanted to find a, which certification you should go ahead with please and just schedule a call here with me i'll be happy to help you let's directly dive in to the thing okay so today we'll be exploring copilot which is a um, ai from microsoft which is used for everything okay like you it will ease you every uh, in each and every aspect but today we are just going to concentrate on research writing for research if you take uh, for research we have various things which we need okay one is a research writing Second one is for the data analysis. If you require this data analysis, this will be the part two. So you can just comment it here. You need part two. I'll be telling you what are the prompts here. And next is for the time management and organization for your research. For collaborating and communicating like for the feedback, summaries, email, drafting and etc. And there are e even few more things like for lit literature exploration. What are the types of um, prompts you have to do for problem solving what are the types of prompts so i have a lot of prompts with me and i can give it to you once you once only if you comment it here okay i can discuss with you only if you comment it here okay so let's just dive in today for the first one which is a research writing for research writing in terms of research writing we can uh, there are five top prompts which you can use it okay let's say one by one so the first prompt is what generate uh, generate literature summaries so this prompt is all about saving time when you are working on a literature review so let's see how you can use this for the literature summary okay so for example if you have the paper with you so what you can do is here you have one thing called uh, attachment okay so this is copilot i will also leave this particular link in the comment section so you can find it here just click there and create your account so you can see there is a uh, attachment so just click on that attachment and you can upload your paper i'm uploading my paper okay so it's a paper which i have published in 2019 for my research so i'm just going to upload my paper here just click upload so what happens you know your file will be uploaded here got it so once it is uploaded it is it is actually uploading okay so once it is uploaded you can ask questions on that particular paper okay so what you want to ask that what language you are using to communicate is what we call it as a prompting okay it's good even you can ask in Tamil or english or whatever the languages you know but it's good to go ahead with english and also you have to write a proper prompt there okay so the prompting is what like how you interact how you are interacting with the um with this particular um, thing okay so this is the thing which i have inserted now i'm going to type the prompt here so what prompt i'm going to type it here is what i wanted to summarize this paper okay so what i will do summarize the key points okay points and findings so i wanted to summarize from the research article because this is what the research article which i have updated okay uploaded if you don't have the research article you can even copy and paste it okay and highlight the i am just also telling that to highlight 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 the um, research gaps and implementations 
and implications or uh, whatever like implications or problems whatever you want you can just tell it so i'm just telling this to summarize the key points uh, and findings from the research article highlight the research uh, gaps and implications okay just press enter so what happens your uh, co-pilot will try to you know it is actually analyzing your pdf okay so what it is telling you is what it is it has analyzed your so it has analyzed your paper and it, it it is giving you the key points here okay what is the objective and what is the data set they have used and algorithms evaluated methodology results conclusion research gaps and implementations everything it has given you in a clear um, in a point so if you want to copy this you can copy here and you can open your um, word or whatever it may be you can just paste it okay so this is the very first thing if you wanted to understand what is a research paper and what are the key points points in that particular research and how you want to go ahead with that you can use this particular mm. prompt okay so the prompt uh, everything so i'll be discussing three five important prompts here which uh, i have given in the uh, pinned comment so please go and check that so next thing is what what it is showing up is what it is also showing up the follow up questions what are the limitations of the study okay and can you explain j48 algorithm how can these findings so everything it is giving you some follow up prompts as well okay so even if you have a length if you cannot paste it if you have a if you wanted to just to understand with the objective you can copy and paste it or else because since here you can only upload 8000 uh, words okay so uh, if you wanted to upload something you can also upload it okay so we have completed the first prompt here okay that is generate literature summary so now let us just discuss about the next one draft the introduction section so if you want to draft the introduction section this is what the second summary second prompt which we are going to discuss how to um, draft the uh, introduction session okay so write an introduction uh, for my research on topic so what topic i wanted to go ahead with so if you are just using because of course in the previous uh, uh, paper you might have uploaded the topic which you are planning to do it so if you want to go ahead with autism spectrum disorder or any topic okay so here you want to give the topic okay so the topic uh, here you can specify or else for here i'm just going go ahead going ahead with the asd okay asd Uh, so i am also telling that include the background okay the problem statement and the objectives of the study okay so if you want to give in detail like asd in uh, like uh, uh, on predicting asd using um using ai techniques okay ai algorithms so anything you have to be very specific about the topic and then you can tell include the background so here this is what my complete um, um com prompt is write an introductory introduction for my research on predicting asd asd that is autism spectrum disorder using ai algorithm include the background and the problem specification and objective of the study and just press enter so what happens is what it will create a background and the problem statement and an objective to study like so everything it it is generating for you okay so objective how what is the objective and what is the background so what i can tell you is what don't simply uh, copy and paste it just read and understand whether it is practically correct okay it's correct or if you wanted to rework on it you can just give the more prompts on this so we have discussed about how you can use uh, copilot for drafting your introduction section okay this is the second prompt we have discussed now we are going to discuss about the third prompt which is rephrase for the clarity okay so you have written some sentence right so it has given you some sentence if you want to rephrase on that you can just type okay and also it is it is suggesting you few more prompts here can you suggest a literature review structure what ai algorithm should i include in my study how to present the results effect actively so you can just use it i am just going to use rephrase the following sentence to make it more concise and formal okay so you can just make the sentence if you feel like if you feel that this is not uh, much effective if you want to change it even more concise then just copy this 
paste it inside the double quotes okay so this is the one um, press enter so stay till the end so that i can tell you what are the things which you should consider before copying and pasting it exactly okay so here it has rephrased it in a different way so that it looks even more clear this is what rephrase with the clarity if you want some clarity you can use that to you can use this prompt to rephrase it okay so we have discussed nearly three important prompts which will help you for your research okay so rephrasing with the clarity is done so the fourth one which we are going to see is what if you want to draft some research questions for you okay a well crafted research questions is the backbone of any study so let us just type the prompt here formulate formulate three clear and concise research questions based on this objective so we have given some objective right even if you can if you want you can just type the objective okay so in the previous one it gave me some objective right you can just copy and paste the objective or else if you have your objective you can even copy and paste it okay so just give it in the double quotes and then uh, it will give you like for example if you just focusing on something it will give you some proper questionnaire for you okay so you can see here that here are uh the research questions based on the objective so it is giving me how accurately can ai algorithm specifically naive babies uh, j48 and ibk classify and predict the autism spectrum disorder using various attributes for the data set so it has given a clear research questions for me so this is what drafting a research question how to draft a research question which is very easy with the help of this ai okay with the help of this prompting and finally this is the last uh, fifth prompt which i really wanted to tell you is what summarizing your review or feedback okay so for example you have submitted your uh, paper and you are getting the response from the reviewer that this paper has you have to do these changes for this paper okay how to do that so this is possible with the help of uh, this ai itself so if you want that prompt you can just uh, comment it here below like you wanted to know the prompt like review or feedback prompt so i'll be telling you what is the prompt you can use that so explore these prompts and let me know and there are even more hundred more prompts which you can use it for the research okay so just um, keep exploring and if you want more just comment it below thank you take care bye bye have a great day